Hi everyone, it's me Judy from Sweet Mermaids as well as um, Sweet Crafting Mermaids. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make one of my um, chakra candles. Hope I said that correct. Um, it's going to be the seven colors on um, chakras and I have everything already all set up. I do my colors in different parts so that's what we're going to be um, doing today. Um, you're going to need some of these small bowls. I get these from Dollar Tree. I believe they're three ounces, even though you're not going to need all of that, but they're the three ounce one and they come four in a pack. Um, I use chip colors like this. Um, um, we're gonna need measuring cup. My container is also as well from Dollar Tree. I already have it all prepared and ready with two wicks. And you're going to need, um, I use this little cup. So to, basically you're gonna need one ounce for each color is what you're going to need. So I use this little um, medicine cup or shot cup, I'm not sure what you wanna call it. Um, I use these as well for my um, melts and you're going to need whatever fragrance that you would like. Today I'm using the Rustic Essential Lavender um, fragrance. I don't have no affiliation with them. It's just that that's the fragrance I'm using today. Um, you're going to need um, one of your, I need to normally put a quartz stone and I put a nice little charm on them as well. So I'll be showing you how to do that in the last of the process. And I use chip stones as well, different type of colors. I try to match the colors of the stones with the colors that I'm using. Um, for instance, I'm using the carnelian crutch stones for the orange. I'm using the adventuring for the green. Um, the only color I don't have in crushed stone is going to be the red, so I use the rose quartz instead. Um, I get these um, here, luckily, in Florida um, in a store. I buy them for like 75 cents for a small little bottle like this. Um, they come in here and I just empty them in there that cost like 75 cents um, each bottle. I do know that I have seen them on eBay, um, Amazon, and also in um, Wish also carries them. Um, I just get mine local because it's a lot more faster for me to just go and pick them up. Uh, I will provide some of the links of some of the stuff that I'll be using um, down below. So you can go ahead and check that on the information of this video and you will be able to go ahead and see everything, all the links and um, that I'll, some of the stuff that I'll be using. As I said, this, I buy this, the chips locally, so I won't have a link for that, but I will try to find one for you and provide it on there, okay? Um, and as always, if you do have any questions, just um, send me a message, uh, comment on the video, and I will go ahead and answer them as fast as I can as well as um, I do have a Facebook group. It's called um, Sweet Crafty Mermaids. I will provide that as well. I do have um, an Etsy. I have the regular Etsy of my candles, which is called Sweet Mermaids um, Candles and Soaps. And I also have the other um, Etsy shop, which is Sweet Crafty Mermaids. And that's where I sell my molds and things like that, as you'll see on my, um, on my feeds on my channel that I have different type of items that I make and I do. Um, the videos that I make um, are not, I just more to just help help you out. I know that there's sometimes a lot of times people they try to find information and they can or they can't find it. So I just try to help. It's not that I know everything. It's not that it's exactly how it's, this is how it's done. This is the way I do it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour my wax on my um, measuring cup and I'm only going to use eight ounces of wax. Okay, I already have my wax melted. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in there and we'll be back. Okay, so we're back. 
um i already got my colors prepared um i did um shaved some of the um colors that i have so this will be the orange and we only using as i said before the one ounce i do a lot of shavings for my colors because i like my colors of my chakra candle to be very bright so i do um put them in order which the first color should be red orange yellow green light blue navy blue and purple okay that to me it's the order that i always um have found that is the correct order of the chakras if there's anyone that could correct me on that but as for my researches that i have done and that is the order of the um, colors for the chakra so i do as i said before use seven colors and i have them already already the only one i didn't do was this one because i wanted to show you how so these colors come like this they come in chunks and they come in a pack i get mine from um candle science i will go ahead and provide that link as i said um below and just use a regular small knife and i'll just shave off some of the colors into my bowl this is going to be the navy blue just about I'm pretty sure every single one of my candles the colors are probably different some might be darker than others um, I don't have as if you have watched any of my videos I do not have no set measurements of anything that I use sorry about that okay so all my bowls are ready with my colors and my chips I already poured my wax and I also already has the scent in it I just use a skewer a wood skewer and I just mix slowly um, I already mixed it for a few minutes I always recommend mixing it at least for one minute um, I always just do either clockwise and then go back the other way just to get your scent mixed correctly with the wax okay so I already have it all ready so then what I do is I take my one ounce cup and my cup of wax and I fill my one ounce cup like so and I pour it into my bowl and what this is going to do is that you're going to make sure that you have that exact amount on each one of your colors. So, because everyone always asks, how do you get it to be the same exact amount on every one of your colors? So, this is my secret, guys. Just pour one ounce into each one of the bowls. As I said before, this is an eight ounce cup okay okay sorry about that um, I'm going to correct myself is you're gonna use so you're gonna basically use two ounces okay so you're going to come back and redo the same step oh, and i guess i didn't measure correctly so i'm missing two more okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put more wax and do my other two that I'm missing. And then I'll come back and show you the next steps of what I do. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and refill the other two. One goes here. And the other one goes here. 
I have some left over, which is fine. I normally do that on purpose since I always like to do the um, melts because to every one of my customers, when they purchase candles, I always send them melts um, just as a little gift. So that's what I'll go ahead and use that um, for. So all the colors are already melting. So then what I do is I use Mix it. Okay, and as I said before, the reason I pour all my colors and all my scents at on all my um my colors with my wax at once is one. Um, I like to pour my wax with the scent all at once. So that way it all smells exactly the same. So it's not like one has more scent than the other. And two, I already have everything already and prepared with the exact measurements. And I don't have to come back and maybe one measures more than the other or that just makes it more um, even. So this is, it will look like colors already mixed. So then what I do is I'll go ahead and mix, pour the, the first color. Once the first color it's poured, I let it sit, let it cool, let it um, solidified, and then come back with my second color. So what I do is, um, of course, by the time I get to do that, they're all going to be already all solidified. So then what I do is I'll go ahead and put it in the microwave um, for a minute and get all my wax melted again and do the pouring. So we'll go ahead and um, be going through the steps of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and, um, and do that, okay? I'll be right back, okay? So let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and pour the red. I'm gonna put it where you guys can actually see. Hopefully I won't make a mess. Spoke too soon. Okay, so there goes the red. Don't worry about that mess there on the side. That can be cleaned up, so I'll go ahead and clean that up. Once it gets solidified, I'll go ahead and clean it up. And we'll go ahead and move on to our next um, colors. So I'll be coming back for every one of our um, colors until we go ahead and finish the candle. Okay, be back. Okay, so we're back. And um, as you can see, the colors already they're already kind of solidified. So this is the purple. This is going to be the dark blue, the baby blue, or light blue, the green. You can see it better here. This is the color it will turn out, and the yellow. So as I mentioned before, each one of these will have to be remelted. Um, I do that in the microwave for one minute, and um come and pour it in my jar. So I already did the orange color. And as you can tell, the red, this one is already solidified. I cleaned up the big mess that I had. Hopefully that won't happen with the orange. And as I said, so on and on, I will continue with each one of the colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and show how I do this one. Um, I am not going to come back to each one of the rest of the colors. I will come back when I do my last color. And once I do my last color, um, that is the step where um, we'll let it kind of solidified, not completely, but almost to the point where it's still kind of soft. So we could go ahead and put our stones and our, um, 
and our charm. And I mentioned before about the um, my melts, and this is what my lavender melts look like. I always do the amethyst crushed stones into them. So it would also be for someone when they buy a candle, I always go ahead and throw one of those in there. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this. And I'm sorry guys, I'm gonna have to do this with my right hand because I did it earlier with my left. Not a lefty, I'm a writer. And um, I'm thinking that's why I made a mess. So let's see how this one goes. So that's the orange color something else that I wanted to mention is that when you pour your color um, as I mentioned I did um, put it in the microwave for one minute make sure that the color that you already had poured is completely solidified because if it's not your colors are going to mix one or the other because then the wax that you just melted in the microwave for one minute is going to be too hot since it's only a small amount so it's going to be too hot and what's going to happen is if the color that you have in the bottom it's not completely solidified it's going to go ahead and intermix into it so you want to make sure that the color that you already have already poured it's completely um, solidified before you pour the one that is hot okay so as I said I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of them once I do that I'm gonna come back for the purple and I'm going to show you how to do the stones and all of that great stuff okay hey guys all right so I already poured um, all my colors uh, my candle actually has been sitting already over at night um, I decided to wait for this one so I could go ahead and finish this video for you guys but this is actually what it's going to look like um, so you could tell all the colors the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the lighter blue, and the navy blue. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and pour my purple um, on here. I go ahead and take my sticks off since that's not really needed anymore. I'm gonna pour my purple. I'm gonna wait for it to get solid um, a little bit and get cooled off and so they can go ahead and put my rocks and my um, embellishments um, on it, okay? So I'll go ahead. And this is the same process that you're going to do for each one of the colors as I show you with the first two and now with the last one. So just let it sit. We're gonna come back once it cools off a little bit. Um, you don't want it to be all completely um, cooled off. You wanna leave some of it kinda a um, little bit soft so we can go ahead and put the stones on them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and come back for that. All right, so the candle, it's already done. And you can see that it's still a little bit, it, it, it's almost dried, um, it's almost solid, but not quite. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start putting my stones in. And what I do is just put a few pink there around the rim of the candle. So that's that. That's, I use the pink for the red, um, which is actually rose quartz. I use, carne I use carnelian for the orange. Citrine for the yellow. Aventurine for the green.
blue topaz for the light blue. Turquoise for the darker blue. Just for the purple. Now, so once you have all your stones in, then you're gonna see you're gonna have this kind of mess that I have going on here now. So just kind of arrange one a little bit like so and then I'm gonna come with my heat gun okay sorry about that we got interrupted by the phone um so as I was saying the heat gun the heat tool that I have um, yeah, I know. I think I got this one at Michael's or Joanne's. It's um, normally you'll find them at the um, card section. It's a very light heat gun instead of using just a regular big heat gun. This is great for candles. So I just give it a little bit of heat. And what that's going to do is it's going to melt just on the top. ahead and I like to put this here like so in the middle and then I'm going to put my rose quartz I'm sorry my quartz in the middle like that and that's it then we'll go ahead and tag it and uh, this is my tag i'll put the scent on it which is lavender cut off and that's it candle is done see pretty all right guys until next time let's see when i make another video for you guys um, hope you guys enjoyed this video as I said um, please follow me I do have the Facebook group that I'll also go ahead and I'll put the link on there you guys can follow if you have any questions um, do put them down in the comments or you guys can ask to join my Facebook group and we can go ahead and discuss any questions so I could guide you on how to make any other type of candles um, and I will go ahead and look for the links um, for some of the stuff that I use here. In case if you're wondering what type of wax do I use, I use 464 soy wax. Um, that's the reason why you see the frosting. That's something that um, majority of the time happens with the 464 um, soy wax. So as I said, any questions, any comments, just put them down below and I will go ahead and get to you as soon as I can. Bye-bye.